Hello everyone. This is a test for a uh, digital test for a uh, module two. Okay. Now let's do number one over here. Okay, we have the line graph. Nineteen eighty nine two up to nineteen ninety nine year. Okay, over here estimated number of chip markers. Okay. Yeah. So, based on this line graph. In which year was the estimated number of chipmunk in the state park the greatest, highest point? We are at this point. Okay? And this is what? Highest point. So around what? 150, right? Chipmunk there. So, 1994 is the answer. Okay? The number two, we have 5104 yards. Okay. How about you this fish swim in miles? We can use a like converting ratio. Okay. Converting ratio is what? One mile. That is equal to 170, 1760 yards. This is reset converting ratio. Okay. But we're going to careful. Yard is over here. Bottom is the yard. That's why this is cancelled out. So, 5104 numerator and denominator is what? 1760. Okay? This is wire, isn't it? So, use your calculator, okay? We already know that, okay? It'll be around what? P, okay? This is around the 3. This is already close number 3, okay? So, be the answer. Or you can use a calculator over here, okay? To make sure, 50, 5104 and divide 1760, okay? 2.9, oh, that is exactly 2.9, okay? Yeah, that's the answer. Here is number three. Which expression is equivalent? These two terms are like terms. Okay, seven twelve minus five is seven x cube. Is it answer? Okay. Number four. What is the solution set? So that solution is by intersection. Okay. So we're gonna find the section of it. First we can check. X is a 5y, this is a 5 yeah. substitution. 5y plus y equals 6y equals 18. So y equals 3. Okay? When y equals 3, x is how much? 5 times 3 equals 15. Okay? X equals 15. So all of the pairs. So x is the first, y is the second, always, okay? 15 and 3 is the answer, okay? Here is number five. The point eight and two over here, around over here. This is eight and two. Which of the following system of inequality? This is what belongs to first quadrant. So it's where x is positive, and y is still positive, right? Choice A is the answer. What about this? X is a positive, Y is a negative, it belongs to over here, right? Okay. X is a negative, Y is a positive. Here, okay? This one is both belongs to this one, okay? But this is it belongs to the first quadrant. Number six. What is the one possible solution to the given equation? This is the absolute value equation, okay? X minus five, inside it can be 10 or negative 10, two possible, right? You can solve this 10 or a negative 10. Plus 5 both sides. Okay. You can use this one. So 15 or negative 4. Okay. Any number is okay. So number 7. The function gives total number of people on a company retreat with X managers. This is number of managers. 
what is total number of people on a company retreat with the seven managers? Okay, if we have a seven managers, each manager is with retreat seven people, something like that, okay? So seven times seven plus one is what? 50 is okay. 49 plus one is 50. That's the answer. Here is number eight. HX equals X squared minus three. So which table gives three values of X? There are corresponding values of H of X for the given of error. First, you can check it out. When X is one, okay? What is the value of H? One square minus three to negative two. Which one is the negative two? This is not negative two. This one is the negative two, not negative. This is negative two. Take the next one up here. We have only two choices of here. Two, one, two, one, same number. You can have to check last number. When x equals 3, what is that? When x equals 3 is what? 3 squared is 9 minus 3 is 6. 3 and 6, this one is 3, right? This is 3, 3, not working. So choice B is the answer, okay? So number 9, what is the value f of 0? Put this number x equals 0 there. 170.10, okay? This is 1. So 270, right? Actually, what? Initial value, okay? When x equals 0, we get the initial value. Looks like this. This is unit value is 270. This is less than 1, right? This is, we said, decay factor. Actually, this is what? 1 minus 0.9, right? So 90% decreased. So it looks like this way, okay? Here is number 10. To estimate the proportion of population, okay? So, you can read over here. I'm going to find out where the questions. Okay, the proportion of population that has a characteristic 0 0.49. Okay, that is a sample proportion, right? Sample proportion. So, we do associate the margin of error over here, okay? But every sample has a margin of error, right? If you okay, uh, take a sample, whole sample, which is population, there are no errors. Okay, we check for all the population. Okay, but we check for only sample, that's why there is some margin of error, okay? So sample proportion of your point nine. Because it, because this is sample, so there is some margin of error of here. Bottom of here, 0 0.4 minus 0 0.4, 0 0.45, right? Another one, plus 0 0.4, 0 0.5 or 3, did it? Accept it over here, okay? The proportions must be between these two numbers, okay? Point negative 0.45 or four, and the point 0.5 or 3, okay? So it is a lot plausible. You can plausible, okay? So. I think if we say it is the proportion is the proportion is always what between 0.45 and 0.53, that's not correct. Okay, we cannot say, okay, exactly. Okay, so we can say plausibly is okay. Okay, all right, that's the answer, right? It's already got over here. So number eleven. Moving truck can tow a trailer if the combined weight of trailer, the boxes contains no more than 4,600 uh, 4, pounds. Okay. So what is the maximum number of boxes this truck can tow in trailer with the weight? Yeah, box okay, over here. 500 pounds. Okay, trailer is 500 pounds. Box is what? Each box is 120 pounds. The number of boxes is about 120 times x. This one cannot be more than 4,600 pounds. Less than or equals to 4,600. That's the inequality, okay? So what is the maximum value of y? Minus 500, that's 4,100. You can divide by 120, okay? So 4,100. over 120 34.66 okay 
So x less than 34, 31. No, let me check. 34, right? 34.1, something like that. So maximum number will be about 34, right? The integral below this number, just 34 is the answer. Here is the number 12. What is positive solution to the given equations? I'm going to move to the other side. 4x squared plus 7x and minus 36 equals to 0. Maybe you can factor this one, okay, using the formula, right? But I, I, because it takes time, so I better, we better use my quadratic formula because we can use our calculator, okay? What is the quadratic formula? Negative 7 plus minus, okay? I'm sorry, negative 7. And the 7 squared is 49 minus 4 times a is a 4, c is 1, negative 36, over 2 times 4, right? Now let's find the inside the radical, okay? Now let's find the inside the radical. What is that? I'm going to delete this one. 49 minus 4 times Four times four and times negative thirty six. Okay, how much? Six hundred twenty five, right? Inside is about six hundred twenty five. Square six hundred twenty five. We know that that is twenty five. Okay, so negative seven plus minus twenty five over eight. Okay, but it should be positive solution. If this is negative, whole thing is negative. Right? Negative seven minus twenty five is negative. Okay, so we take a positive with negative seven plus twenty five over 8. That is a positive y of x. Okay? So what is this one? 25 minus 7 is 18 over 8. Simplify. 9 over 4 is the positive solution. Okay? Choice B is the answer. Or you can factor this one. Okay? Because what? Sum is a 7. Product is what? Negative. 144. Right? Now let's find the two numbers to be factors. What are the two numbers? Mm, sum is a 7, right? 16 and the negative 7, right? Negative 9, okay? Yeah, that's correct. So you can fact that this one, 7x is actually what? 16x minus 9x. Okay, now we use like grouping factor, right? 4x squared minus 16x is a common factor of 4x inside the x minus 4, okay? Second one is plus negative 9x. So negative 9 out x minus 4 equals to 0, okay? So x minus 4 is common vector, x minus 4, and 4x minus 9 equals to 0. So x equals 4, let me see. We have this with negative 4. Uh, this one, this is a positive, okay? Negative 9 is out, that is a positive, I did it wrong, okay? Yeah, x plus 4 is a common factor, okay? x plus 4 and uh, 4x minus 9. So over here, x is uh, negative 4, x is uh, 9 over 4, right? This is negative, okay? If you can factor this way, that's fine. But I s suggest, recommend, okay, uh, to use a quadratic formula because we can use a calculator, but that is the easy way, okay? All right. All right, number 13. Yeah, table summarize distribution of car right and shape for 100 tires of equal area. Okay, one of these tires you select random, one, any tire. What is the probability selecting a red tire? Only one single variable, okay? So not two variables here and here. Not this one, okay? So just red, one single, only red. 30, that's right. How many total? 100, okay? That's the private. 30 over 100 or 3 over 10 is the answer, okay? Here is the number 14. What's the slope of J? This is a pattern, right? Same this one, okay? Slope same as this two, okay? So 2 is the answer, okay? Same slope. 
That's the pattern. The next one, number 15, a proposal for a new library was included on an election ballot. Okay. A radio show said that three times as many people vote in favor. They said yes. That we know against. Okay? Three times as people as people voted against. If this is X, okay, the other one is what three X. Okay, that means a social media post reported one fifteen thousand more people voted in paper, okay? How much more over here? This is 3x, this is x, 3x minus 2x is what? Uh, x is what? 2x more, right? That is equals to 15,000. Okay? More. What is x? 7,500. It's okay. Where are the questions? How many people voted against, against the proposed, this number against x? This is x, right? 7,500 is the answer, okay? So you can use it, 30x minus x, okay, 2x more. That represent 15,000 people, okay? Here is the number 16. x equals 6k plus 13, y equals 8k minus 29. They are vertical angle, right? They must be equal. I'm going to write down. 8k minus 29 equals 6k plus 13. So minus 6k is 2k plus 32 is how much? 42, isn't it? k equals 21. But that's when you find the value of g, okay? To value of g, anyway, we're going to find the value of this one or this one. Okay, well, this is better. 6 times 21 and plus 13. Okay, this number is 126 plus 13 is 139, right? This is 139, this is how much? Supplementary, right? 41, isn't it? 180 minus 139 is 41. This is alternate integer, this is also 41, okay? So 41 is the answer. Here are the number 17. Negative 3x plus 21 px equals 84. The equation has no solutions. No solution is what? If the answer is undefined, there is no solution, okay? We have x as a combined move. X, I'm going to write that this is, for, this is a positive, okay? 21 p minus 3, that is equal to 20, uh, 84, isn't it? So x equals what is that? 84 over 21 p minus 3. No solution means undefined, equivalent, okay? How can you undefined the nominal zero that is undefined? 21p equals 3. Okay, p equals 1. 3 over 21, which is 1 over 7. It's okay. 1 over 7. Because if this is or another way, maybe you can find the answer from here too. Any number. Times zero. Zero product. It should be always zero, right? It can be negative 4. That's no solution, right? Number 18, for what value of x, not value of y, it has a minimum. This is a graph, okay? When you mark over here, this one is negative 13, this is a 10. For this value in the middle, there is a minimum value. What is this point? Midpoint of these two, average, okay? Negative 13 plus 10 over 2, and that is the value of x, okay? So negative 3 over 2. When x equals negative 3 over 2, this is actual. x equals negative 3 over 2 is x over symmetry. On this x axis, there is a minimum value of y, okay? But that's giving you the value of x. Okay? Choice D is the answer, okay? Here is number 19. So we have a birth tax form. When x equals 7, y equals 3, right? Looks like this one. When x equals 7, y equals 3. Looks like this. The graph looks like this one. Which of the following is the best interpretation of vertex of the graph? Okay. Where is the vertex? It has a minimum height, right? Okay, minimum height. And also, uh, 3 inches. No, 7. Uh, 3 inches height, right? That's correct. Okay? 3 inches height, that's fine. Okay. Now, try the next one. The 
Matter of the borrow minimum height is seven. It is no. This is not seven. Minimum height is three. Right. This is minimum. Okay. All right. The only thing is what this one is what second. Okay. The time. That's why. Anyway, a is the answer. Okay. Number twenty. Cosine k equals twenty four fifty one. Okay. The triangle. Cosine k, maybe you can use this one. Cosine k. This is a k. That is, okay, this one. J is the right, right angle, okay? J, k, l, that's why. This is a cosine k, 24 over 51, right? Adjacent or hypotenuse. What is the length of this one? Pythagorean, okay? 51 square minus 24 square, isn't it? Now let's find this one, okay? Okay, we can go to a directory. Uh, you can use, okay, yeah, square root. So 51 squared and minus 24 squared, okay? And this squared. 45, okay, yeah, that is a 45, maybe 2025, something like that. Okay, anyway, this is a 45. So what is the cosine there for this angle? Cosine there, adjacent of hypotenuse, right? 45 over 51. Simplify, divided by 3, that is 17, no, 15 over 17, okay? That's the answer. Here is number 21, in the given equations, okay, here, the equation has no real solutions. No real solution is what? If this graph, it looks like this, so when you make a graph down over here, right, there's no x-intercept, y equal, so this is what? no real solution, okay, yeah, where is the solution? They are imaginary, okay. So the only solution is that discriminant is less in general, isn't it? Better use discriminant, okay? A lot of discriminant equations in this digital SAT. So A is a negative 1, B is B, C is 1, negative 7, 6, okay? So B squared is B squared over here. B squared minus 4 times A is 1, negative 1, C is a negative 706, must be less than 0. So we're going to calculate this one. How much this one? 4 times negative 1 times negative 30, 736. Okay, take a look. 4 times negative 1, negative 4, right? Negative 4 times negative 7, 6, uh, 676. Negative 676. 676. That is a 2004, okay? What is 2004? Let me check, take it out. Square root, 2004. B square is what? Take it out. I'm going to just square root them, sorry. Square root 2004, 52, right? That is 52, that is 52 squares. So B squared minus 52 square less than zero, okay? What is the factor of this one? B plus 52, B minus 52 less than zero, right? Less than zero is what? Between two points. One is negative 52, the other one is 52. Not including this point. The, there are the solutions of it, okay? So where are the maximum numbers? Here you go, 51 is the maximum number, okay? Because this one integer not including, okay? So 51 is integer, minimum will be negative of 51, okay? So 51 is the answer. You know how to solve this one, okay?
a new graph over here. This is one of the graph here. The other graph. There are three graphs. There is one more graph. Oh, here is one more graph, right? Okay. This is about four y equals negative x minus sixteen. When you divide by four, y equals negative one over four x minus four, right? That's another graph. We're gonna make a graph over here. Negative four over here. Slope is one over four is what? Move to the left four one up, right? So left four one up. Left up one up. So to the right is what? To the right one down. To the right one down. Okay. When you make the line, you will get this one. But over here, this one too, right? The four one four one, right? That is still slope is what? Negative one poles. This also a slope is negative one poles. They are parallel. They never have a right intersection. Okay. So where is the solution over here? If we have a two system of equations. This is solutions. Three system of equations. They must be past this way. Right? That's your solutions. This is not solution. One, two, three. This point, this point, not solution. This point is only intersection L1, L2, not L3, right? So these two lines appear, they never have intersection. Okay, only this one is the intersection of two line, not three line. Okay, so there are no solutions. Zero, okay. Okay, so we have the equations. The value of equipment decreases each year by P percent. That is the rate, okay, decay rate. What is the value of P? So this one, 0 0.64 is about 1 minus 0 0.36, okay, x over 12. This is what? Decay rate, 36 percent, okay? This is the rate. Minus is what decay rate. Plus is what gross rate. Whole thing is what one minus point thirty six, which is what point six four is what decay factor. Okay, that's a different name. Okay. Here is a twenty four. We have a dot plot. Okay, that fifteen dot there. Okay, data set is A, data B is created by adding 56 to each all the value. Okay, maybe I'm gonna make a graph. Same graph. 56 over here. Increased by 56. 78. The next is about 79, 80, 85, 82, right? This is a 5, this is a 4, this is 3, this is 2, this is 1. So the median data set B equal data B. No, median is around up here. Okay, there is the 15. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 1. Median belongs over here. 23. Median is belongs to this number. 23. But this is the same thing. Median belongs to 79. Totally different median number. Okay, they are not equal. So median number B not equal. Okay, not equals. Yeah, median is B is greater than median of data set. That is correct. Okay. But the next one is this is also greater than that's fine. We have two choices over here. The next one is your range. What is the range? Distance, dip, 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 uh, difference between what? Lowest number and the highest number from here. What is the range? 26 minus 22 is about 4 is the range. What is the range? 82 minus 6 but still 4, right? They are distance. Okay? Difference, right? Distance or difference, this right? So, anyway, range is equal, right? Okay. Here is the number 25. So, we have the standard equation of circle, right? Okay. So, that is the circle A. Circle B obtained by shifting A down two unit. Down two unit why y down to it. So this y plus two means what? Down two unit over y. Okay? You can put this up into the here. X squared plus 
y plus 2, this is now replaced with, okay? y plus 2 minus 1 is y plus 1. n squared equals 49, isn't it? That's it, okay? Choice these days, okay? Or maybe you can use, right, the center. Where is the center over here? From here, center is 0 and 1. Is it okay? But this one is what? Move down by 2 unit. X doesn't change. This center move down over here. By two units, negative one, right? Minus two. It's okay. So new center is what? zero and negative one, right? The same radius. Where's the center over here? Still, x square, x minus zero square plus y minus minus one is y plus one square. That is equals to forty nine. Okay. You can solve this way too using the centers. Okay. So where is this? Zero one is the center over here. The center, but new center is down over here. This is new center, zero and negative one. Okay, that's it. Here is 26. Two identical rectangle prism which have a height of 90 centimeters. The base of each prism is square. Okay, this is uh, base is uh, square. Yeah, that is a rectangle prism. The height is 90. The base of each one is square, okay? All right. Surface area of this is a K square centimeter. Okay. The prism of a glue together along the square base of it. This is twice. Okay, maybe I'm gonna make this, this one twice. Look at this one. Together over here, okay? This is now 180. It's okay. But this surface area is now 92 over 47k square centimeter. That's the surface area, okay? So what is the side length of each square base? Okay, take this one, you can use A, A, okay? This is also A, A. Now let's find surface area, okay? The bottom area is the square, that is A square, top is the square, sum over this with the 2A square. What is the area of this one? 90A, right? Base times height is 90. This area is 90A. We have a four side, right? Okay, four lateral side there, okay? Times four is what? 360A. That is equals to K square centimeter, which is the surface area, okay? What is surface over here? Still same as this one. Top and bottom is A square, another A square. Still 2A square. But this times height is about 180. So 8 times 180, there are 4 letters on the side. Okay? So 180 times 4 is 728. That equals 192 over 47K. But this, can you find the value of A? The value of A. How can you find the value of A? Substitute over here. We don't need the K, right? We just have only, we can see only what A there, okay? Okay, substitute, so from here, 2A squared plus 720A, that is equals to 92 over 7. This K equals exactly what? 2A squared plus 360A. Okay, now let's find out, okay? We better take real divide 47 times both sides, okay? So this is, 2 times 47, what is that? 2 times 47 is what? 94, right? 94 A squared plus 47 times 720 A, right? Equals to 92 times 2 is what? 184, is okay? 184, right? 97, that's right. 184 A squared, because this is what? Multiply 47 already, so 184 and plus 92 times 360a. Okay, yeah, that's the equations. So when you're over here, every term has what? A. A cannot be zero. We can divide by a, 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 right? Or a. So finally, you got here 94a 
plus 47 times 720 a is out 104 a okay and the next is what one eight out 92 times 360 so 184 minus 98 is about 98, right? So I'm going to move this one into negative 94A. So this one minus is about 98, that's right, 98. This one move to the left, 47 times 720 minus 92 times 360. It is okay, right? So what is the value of A? You can divide by 90. That is the value of A. You better use a calculator, okay? Or we know that 720 is about multiple of 90, 360 also multiple of 90, right? So you can divide this one. This is 1, this is 8. This is 1, this is a 4, isn't it? So 47 times 8 minus 92 times 4, that is the value of A, right? 47 times 8 is how much? 376, you use the calculator, okay, that's fine. 92 times 4 is how much? 368, right? So 376 minus 368 equals what? 8, that is the value of A, okay? So we have 8 is the answer, okay? This is a lot, of, a lot of work, okay? But if you know the right concept, that is not that much hard, okay? But remember, you can't divide by A, right? Because every term says A, okay? That makes us what simple. So number 27, 210 is P percent greater. That is percent increase, okay? What is the value P? P percent greater from here. From here, 210, how much increase? 180, right? From here. So 180, this increase one divided by 3, and times 100, that is what? Percent increase. How much this one? This is 1. This is 6. Yeah, that is 600 percent increase. 6 times, actually, 6 times increase. But we're going to find what? Percent. So still, 600 is the answer, okay? And we finished all. So we finished, uh, we finished all test four, okay? So test three, test four, I uh, rendering with a high resolution HD. First, test one, test two, that is just a standard rate, the rendering, okay? The resolution is not good. So when I have time, okay, I'm gonna upload, okay, test one, test two, okay, one more time, so, okay, with HD, okay, high resolution, okay? Thank you. So I continue, okay, upload my book, okay? All right, so I'll see you next time. Thank you so much.